56-year-old Sudilu Parelia was born in Uganda to parents of Indian descent. He began from a scratch to get to his now glorified position in business. His father was also born here in 1932, the family having been around since 1903 when Sudil's grandfather settled in Uganda. Nobody can take my citizenship away. Sudil was literally born in business. He has two siblings, a brother and two sisters, all now living in the UK. Considering the collection of the latest car models his wife and children drive, you may think it has been like this all along. Surprisingly, Sudil bought this 2012 autobiography Range Rover Sport worth 250 million shillings after five years of driving his previous car. You don't need to invest a lot of money in a depreciating asset. The tycoon went to Bat Valley Primary School in Ginger SS from Senior 1 to Senior 2. But in 1972, when he was in Senior 2, the late Id Amin, who was the president then, expelled all Indians, forcing Sudil and his family to flee the country to the UK. One of his first jobs in London as he settled in was driving taxis. I, I tried to go to day school and work night um, in factories and work weekends. To After the situation normalized in 1985, Sudil returned home ready to start his own business worth $25,000, approximately 65 million shillings. The infrastructure was completely broken down. Government officials would go to work for one hour in the morning, put their jackets on the chair and we never see them for the rest of the day. As one who had already measured his losses, Sudil opened up a beer shop on Ginger Road and since the economy was in tatters, there was no local production at the time. The people who import full trucks will come to me and I'll, I'll promise them to pay 50% on, on the spot. And I'll tell them, come and pick up the rest of your money in two days at 4 o'clock. When the guys will come at 4 o'clock, his money is ready, so we'll pay them. And we build a lot of trust. By heavily relying on the trust he had built with customers, his capital base rose and began importing his own beer stock. Within, within less than a year, we were like, you know, one of the biggest uh, beer dealers in, the, in Kampala. But in 1990, government slapped a ban on the beer importation after opening up a factory in Jinja. And like the Chinese say, where there is a problem, there is an opportunity. Sudil grabbed the opportunity. He opened up one of the first foreign exchange business by taking advantage of his foreign customers. So I started buying the, the, the currencies and started selling at a profit. And in less than a decade, the father of three had ventured in real estate, money lending, and opened up Crane Bank in 1995. Today we have 19 branches and the six more opening in the next few months. So why did he choose the name Crane? National Board of Uganda's Crested Crane, which, which I really love. And it was from that point that Sudil's capital multiplied every year. And, and today we are one of the largest private landlords in the country, when you exclude government and uh, kingdoms. He then ventured into the hotel business in later schools. What a better way of you know, supporting the society than building schools. One of the schools he is proud to own is Kampala Parent School, which sits on 12 acres of land. It has over 2,800 children from a daycare to primary seven. Kabira International School is also a jewel to Sudil. You know, I like meeting people, I like talking to people, um, and, 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 and I'm service industry. He may own tens of companies, but Sudil keeps a close watch on all his business like this school to ensure that parents who he considers his customers get value for money. This tycoon with a knack for freestyle dressing is very particular about cleanliness. He ensures that the place is as clean as a Dutch oven. And when he finds the job poorly done, he cracks the whip. Okay. When you come with a problem, come with a solution. You may think he's done and is now consolidating his money business. No way. He is expanding Kampala Parent School by building a swimming pool, changing rooms and a playground in order for the school to host many children's games. Sudil's unwavering passion for hard work is unstoppable. He works six days a week and ensures that he continues to remain creative in all he does. Whatever he touches, it must be a new avenue for him to make money. 
This multi-billionaire businessman employs about 6,000 people directly and many more indirectly. He still looks to the future with a lot of unfulfilled dreams. Uh, create um, you know, shopping malls, a hospital and a university. Sudil now lives in one of his many hotels to allow work on his new residence. He took us to the site where the new structure is under construction in Kololo. He broke down his previous palatial residence here to replace it with this one. The workers are busy like bees, and in less than a year, he wants his huge house complete. The structure is estimated at 17 billion shillings, will be one of the most deluxe and luxurious houses in Uganda. Well, this house is uh, designed by my wife and my children, so this is going to be a family home for next 200 years or more. But what are some of Sudil's challenges in the business arena? In, in, in the government, you have a lot of issues with the land office here. Business runs in the family, and Sudil has empowered his children to play a role. Hi, Dad. Right. His eldest daughter runs the real estate business, while the younger one is handling the money lending department of Crane Bank. These children studied business in some of the best schools in the world. I think you can't have a better mentor than your own father, you know. And of course it is at times challenging because he's achieved so much. Sudil jointly manages his business with his wife, Joytina Ruparelia, who shares the same dream as her husband. I like making money and spending money. It's nice to be doing things for the country as well. Considering the workload, do these people have enough time together as a family? And we're together in the office as well, so if you wanted to sit and chat, you just close the doors for a few minutes. After leaving office at 8, I normally go out um, and uh, either there's cocktails or something, then uh, I attend those, or business meeting, then I quickly go home. Sudil Ruparelia confesses that he has no role model in his life except himself, and this is his philosophy of life. Keep things simple. Um, in everything we do, don't make it more, uh, don't, don't, no need to make it bureaucratic and, and make sure that the, you know, the core issues that you're dealing with, they actually get done rather than enhance them. The name Sudil alone seems to mean money in Uganda and considering what he has, you may think he has hit the climax of making money, but the more he gets, he yearns for more in soldiers on. The reason he says he involved the whole family is to keep the business legacy running for centuries to come, long after he is gone. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.